Hey y'all, random rips. I got a couple things tonight. If you saw my short earlier, you know that one of the Walmarts around me that doesn't have a vendor as far as I know yet has started to have a few things pop up randomly on the shelf. And today it was a whole case of these. And I got one earlier with the tag. I'm sure y'all know the deal with the security tag. If one of these is in it, then the odds are a lot better of getting a hit on some color from Bowman. However, it did not work for me earlier. So I went back to get another one, and guess what? Somebody had been there that also knew that and had bought every one of them except two. And I could only afford one. So, uh, they were way in the back. I guess they got all they could afford and there were only two left with the tag. All the other ones are still there. And I got this a few months ago before I realized I didn't even pay attention to the fact that there are only 12 cards in the box. And now I see that it's going for on eBay for half of what I paid for it. So, heck, let's open it. <laughs> First off, let's see if we get some color in the second Bowman pack. If you want to see the first, just watch the uh, watch the short I did earlier. And there's that security tag. And everything they seem to be slipping on the shelf at the Walmart is a uh, older stock like like this you know 22 Bowman came out almost a year ago some of this uh, the vets Paul Goldsmith bomb Mount Castle and here's our Bowman 3d Henry Davis I think he was he was the number one draft pick, but doesn't seem to reflect that in his values, huh? Hunter Green, I've heard good things about him. We'll see. All right, I don't see any color back there, so who knows? I know it worked for me when we first heard about it back last a year ago. Marcelo Meyer. Khalil Watson, he's one of the ones you look for. Uh, Warming Barnabo, I believe he uh, has worked out to be pretty good. And our Chromes, Jason Dominguez, Louis Verdu Verdugo, Triana, and Pachico. Well, didn't really do very good by that pack either. So, I hope they had about as good a luck as I did, whoever bought the uh, packs up. At least I got an O'Neill Cruz out of that first one. Not a chrome, though. All right. Let's see what we can get in the $2 uh, $2 a card Panini Select. We get says a, a hollow parallel and three plaster exclusive scope parallels. Man, that's just I'll never buy that again. I can't help but feel ripped off for about spending more than twenty-five, might have been thirty dollars. So probably thirty being panini on a box that has twelve cards in it. That's why it's been sitting there. I thought maybe I could sell it for more. Ooh. Well, oh, that's one of our scope parallels, I guess. Three, yeah, you get one in every pack. Okay. Adam Wainwright. Curtis Terry rookie card. Jemer Candelario. All right, not even a rookie. And a Cal Ripken. That's the best card in that pack. Select stars. 
like any of them cards are worth two bucks. Let's see. Lars Newtbar. Matt Chapman. Isaiah Keener. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Again, not even a rookie. And George Brett. Yeah, the best cards so far are Kyle Ripken and George Brett. Yeah, I think this is a product to be avoided. Select football? Sure. And I suppose the basketball too. But, hey, Matt Olson with the A's. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I bought this. What it is? It's still 2022 though. Vander Bogarst. Hey, there's our rookie, Scope. Thomas Zapuki. Of course it's someone like him. And a Josh Hader uh, hollow foil. Yeah. <clears throat> Remind me never to buy select baseball again. Well guys, that was not really near as much fun as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> Maybe things will get better around here. We'll see. Y'all like, subscribe, keep me in business, and come on back and check out what tomorrow brings.